We begin with developing news at 5 on the violent death of Rene Francisca Dominguez, who was gunned down Friday night at a Dollar General store in Pueblo. Tonight, those closest to her say she cried out for help days before she was murdered, afraid of her ex-boyfriend. Caridio News Channel 13, Sean Rice is live at the Dollar General on the east side. Sean. Yeah, Bart Heather, a, a memorial is still very much visible for the Pueblo woman beloved by all she works with. Her friends tell me she feared for her life, going as far as attempting to check into a safe house a day before her murder. Renee Francisca Dominguez had a special phrase of affirmation with her six closest friends. I love you, I got you, boo. A special bond between women who admit Renee had her spirited moments in adjustment for some. Once you got used to her and got to know her, you loved her and there was no going back. Mm -hmm. There was no turning back. You, it's like, Renee, once we love you, it's, that's it. It's just <laughs> over, you know. <laughs> It's over your ours. But last Friday, Renee was shot and killed, allegedly at the hands of her ex-boyfriend, 59-year-old Jerome Bustos. But I knew right away as soon as I saw that post on Facebook that it was her just because of how frightened she was and what mm -hmm. she told us. For weeks, she's been telling us all, I'm going to die, he's going to kill me. I, I could feel it. You know, we'd be driving her home, we'd be outside from the clinic and be like, He's here. He's somewhere. We can fill him. According to court records, Dominguez filed a permanent restraining order against her ex-boyfriend in early November. Then, two days later, she filed for a civil protection order. In the six-page protection order, she stated she went into a fetal position during an argument. She stated he then started wailing on me with a closed fist. After the police arrived and took a report, she said she was scared and worried about what he was going to do after he returned from jail. She's gone through the court system and they keep delaying it every two weeks, pushing it out. And in our mind, domestic violence is one thing, but when you're choking someone, that's attempted murder. Calls to the office of County Judge Roberto Silva have gone unanswered, but the changes these women seek surely will not. They need to have, okay, this is serious. He is really after her and harassing her. This is more important than just catching him breaking the restraining order. Renee will always be remembered for her daily breakfast of Red Bull, tahine, and blue Sour Patch candies. And one day, Renee's closest friends long for the day they too will see her again. Her thing was always, I got you, boo, I got you, boo. And we just, we just want to know, let everybody know that she did not die in vain. And we got you now, boo. We may never know the true answers in this case. Jerome Bustos died by suicide hours after her murder. This Sunday, a balloon ceremony will be held in Renee's memory here in Pueblo. Hundreds are expected to attend. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, Caradio News Channel 13. Such a terrible end to that story. Sean, thank you.